Chris, come out the street. Yeah, man, just get him out the, pull him out the street, man. That boy having fun, yeah, I bet he really playing with them. What the hell? Babe, we about to go. We going to the co ops, me and the kids. Look at Reagan. Uh oh, here they come. I'm about to pull in the yard, babe. Here, come Gumpy on the case. No, don't Oh my God. No, no, no. Don't resist. Oh my God. And they keep me pretty calm, as calm as they can get it. Go around, please. Go around, please. Go around. Go around. Y'all, he out, he sleep. He's still breathing. Yep. That was a very good. This right here, this right here is how police are supposed to do and treat people when they realize that there's a mental health issue going on. This man was understanding, this officer was understanding enough to use the proper amount of force to make sure that not only was his self protected but so was Chris and so are the people out here around us. He defused the situation. Chris is asleep. This was an appropriate this is kudos off kudos APD. Y'all actually came through. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did the right thing. So we gonna make sure that the other people that roll up on the scene that the other people on the scene do not. He came, he got out the car with his baton. Yeah, he got out the car with his baton as if there was gonna be a problem. How you doing, Johanna? Hey, 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 what up, man? Don't resist. Hey, pull his pants up, man. Alright, man, just pull his pants up. Yeah, you gotta help him get his, get his pants Thank up. Thank
Yeah, I see him walk past up and down. Yep, they cause they take they have tased him before. They have tased him before when I was out here and he suffers with mental health issues, you know, so it doesn't need to be excessive amount of force to control Oh my god, he said yes. Yeah. Yeah. Calm down. Yeah. He possessed, he possessed like a motherfucker. You like can see that. it in his face. Hey, hey, look, look. Look. Look at his face. He passes hey, out. Get he passed. Get off of his back. He cannot breathe like that. He's passing out. He's, he's drooling from the mouth. He's drooling from the mouth. Y'all are, y'all are escalating. Y'all are escalating. Y'all are, are escalating. Thank you, sir, to allow him to breathe. Thank you for allowing him to be able to breathe. Can we get his pants pulled up? There are children out here. Can we get his pants pulled up? <laughs> Brayden, go, Boston, go to the back. So this is what goes on in our community. And I'm out here because this is right here. We right here. You know what I'm saying? And you guys want to come in here with these big ass developments all around the community, these big developments, and then y'all stay inside y'all homes like y'all not coming into our spaces. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't helping. Look, she just sitting in the car looking. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool and it's not okay that stuff like this can happen in our community and y'all get to reap the benefits. Y'all come in here and y'all get to suck our communities dry, take the money out of it, but y'all don't provide the appropriate mental health to the people that live inside of the community. This man be here every day, walking back and forth. I see him every day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he does suffer with mental health. And luckily, the first officer that was on the scene was able to defuse it and use the proper amount of force. But the gentleman right here with the baton and the glasses comes out puts his knee, he got his baton ready, inflicting more force. The situation is dealt with. He needs to be, look at that, he bleeding from the mouth. He had his, he had his knee in his back and it was blood coming from his mouth and he didn't even care that he was doing that. Not only did he not care he was doing that to that man, he didn't care about the fact that it was children out here. He didn't care about the fact that it was people out here. He was just how is that protecting and serving me if we're out here saying you don't have to do that that's unnecessary force if we the people you supposed to be serving and protecting because we the ones right here in this general space in this area what what how is it that you can tell me your force when you hear everyone saying that force is unnecessary your force is proper how are you in the right how are you in authority over me as i'm letting you know i'm safe but the person that you're arresting is not safe. You're not even listening to the people around you say that. That is a problem. That's what the police need to start being trained upon because that's how you protect and serve people. That's what you do. You listen to the people around you who live in this community, who are looking for food in this community, looking for help in this community. That how you do it. Now it's a matter of is he okay? Y'all, we out here. It's your girl, Nancy Farm Fancy. We out here. We was out here. Wait, I'm looking oh. at you. <laughs> we was out here specifically to raise money for our community that helps feed people, give people like him the things that they need 
to have a healthier lifestyle. This is what I'm trying to get y'all to see and understand. Y'all are completely missing the point. You know what I'm saying? It's not about, oh, what is she doing? She is doing what she needs to do to help this community. And I need y'all to be of support in that and help us because this is going on every single day. This is going on every single day. And it has to stop. It has to stop. This type, these type of places, places that are calming, peaceful, this is the type of stuff we need. We don't need a bunch of watcher bars sitting up in their condo homes, not giving a fuck. That's not what it, what it is. So come stop by. We still open. We got fresh veg. We gonna be here. Come get a box. It's a pop-up shop. <laughs>